Hey YouTube, it's Sharice here and it's my day off. So I wanted to experiment and do some kind of crazy, well not crazy, just more intense and glamorous makeup. I work at Jersey Mike Subs now just for the summer. So glamorous makeup really isn't appropriate for when I'm making sandwiches for people. So today I thought I would do something a little glam and I don't know. I'm not sure what colors I want to use. Um, but let's just talk about what's already on my face. So I recently went back to a holy grail foundation. Actually first, let's talk about my hair. I'm trying something with my hair. Um, you know the song Classic Man? It's by Jadena featuring Janelle Monae. Well, I have been really inspired by his style and his hair and he has like this um, like finger wave thing on the top but tapered on the sides. But my hair is all basically one length. Um, so I have slicked back my sides into like almost like a mohawk and it's drying and there's a lot of gel on it so just ignore the whiteness it will go away eventually and I've like got this little top part with my natural curls in it so I'm kind of imitating his hair and I got the baby hairs doing a little sweep kind of like how his hair does so I'm really liking the style I just can't wait for it to dry so the whiteness can go away but um just ignore that but basically I just used a whole bunch of gel to get this style, you know, since I have short hair. And it's basically like a mohawk because the whole middle section is still curly. I just have the sides slicked down with gel. So I'm really excited for it to dry and um, for the finished look. But let's talk about what's on my face. I already applied my foundation and I'm trying out a new, well not really new, I'm going back to an old holy grail but they had kind of a scandal, a racism scandal, so I was like I'm not buying any more of your products. So I kind of put all my Revlon foundations to the side. So I haven't purchased any new ones for a very long time but um, I did have some left over from last year. And so on my face I have on the Revlon Color Stay Makeup for oily for combination oily skin and I'm wearing the color 410 cappuccino um, I'm gonna be posting another video on my first day of work makeup and I have on mahogany in that one but it's just a little bit too dark for the lightest parts of my face so I really think that cappuccino is like my exact color match I'm really liking the way this looks and I'm really excited as we all know my neck is darker than my face so it's okay that my neck is a little bit darker but it really matches my chest and I feel like it brings everything together well. So I'm really loving the Revlon Color Stain Cappuccino and I just use this little like concealer brush to apply it to my face to all the dark marks and then I just blend it out using my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. And after that I went on to do my brows, which I just used a black eyeliner pencil and this one is from NYX and it's one of their Cole Kajal black liners. And it just looks like this and as you guys know this is one of my new favorites for my brows. And of course I blended that pencil out using an e.l.f. small precision brush. Why does my nose always want to start running when I make videos? I don't understand. But um, I blended it out using this brush, my brows. So they can be on fleek, which I'm really liking them today. I love the shape, the precision of them. And then to set my face, I use my Black Radiance Soft Focus Powder in the color Creamy Bronze Finish. And I just really like this powder and I really like the color of it. It is brown. It's a brown color, but it has like the perfect amount of yellow and red undertones for my skin. My skin is definitely more yellow than it is red. But that's what it looks like. And it's coming off a little lighter on camera. But that's what it looks like. So that's the powder I used to set my face. And this stuff is like really powdery and really fluffy and loose. It's almost like a loose pressed powder. That's kind of how I would describe it because it comes off really easy. And I just use that using this e.l.f. complexion brush and I just swept that all over my face like so. So I really like this powder for setting this foundation because this foundation doesn't even really need to be set when you don't when you use it sparingly how I did. I really just applied it to the dark marks and then blended it out and then applied it to the dark marks again so that I got full coverage. But I used 
as little foundation as possible and I really like how it came out. So that is the base that you see. So now let's go on to the eyes because I'm not sure what I want for the lips and the cheeks until I do my eyes. So I'm going to take a fluffy brush from, I think this is from Coastal Scents, from like their 32 brush palette. And I'm going to go into the Amorizi palette. And I'm going to take the color Morocco and go ahead and apply this in my crease of my eye. This brush has a little bit of brown on it, and I think some purple too. Probably should have wiped it off. And like I said, I'm just applying this into the crease. using windshield wiper motions as you can see this is like a nice like a burnt orangish color like so and I think for the lid I'm gonna use like an orangish color I've been really feeling orange and my sister had this color in her crease yesterday and I thought it was really pretty. So now I'm going to go to my Perfect 22 palette, which is um, from the brand Absolute. And this is something you can get at your local beauty supply store. It's really cheap and inexpensive, but the color payoff and the pigmentation on these shadows is really, really good. And they're all shimmery, except for like three colors which is like the white and this like red color right here but they're almost all really shimmery and they look really really pretty so I'm going to take an elf eyeshadow C brush looks like this I'm going to take this orange color right here and I'm going to apply this on the lid I'm just going to use my Amory Zee palette because it has a mirror in it. It's almost looking gold on camera. But it is orange. And I'm applying this all over the mobile lid. Stopping a little bit before my crease. And I have a hundred percent natural light right now. Yay! I'm mostly pressing this color on because I want it to be very intense. So that's how that looks right now. I go over to the other eye. Anyone who knows me knows that I really like bright colors and I really like the color orange. I just think bright colors look really good on darker complected peoples.
like I said, stop right before the crease so you don't get it, get it in the crease, which on this eye it did a little bit, but I'll fix that later. And make sure you get all the way down to the base of your lashes. I'm really trying to pack it on. Okay. So that is what that is looking like right now. I'm going to go back in with Morocco just to put some more in the crease because some of it got um, some glitter on it, the glittery orange I just applied, like so. Now I'm going to go into, I have so many palettes on my lap. Now I'm actually going to put on some chapstick because I don't want my lips to get too dry. And this is the Cocoa Butter Lip Care in Dark Chocolate Peppermint. And I love this chapstick. But I did a sugar scrub on my lips yesterday, so I'm trying to not have them get dry and peely. There you go. Now I'm going to go into my matte blush palette. And this is from Beauty Treats, also a beauty supply store brand. And I'm going to go into this, <laughs> the lid like kind of broke. I'm going to go into this bright orange shadow and add that to my crease below the color Morocco. And kind of blend it in with my lid color. Just to add some more orange to this look. There we go, see that nice orange color? And I'm using the same brush I used for Morocco. And I'm blending it just a little into the lid color. Which the lid color is looking gold, so that's okay. Now I'm just blending that into the lid color just a little bit on both eyes. Alrighty, so that's how the eyes should be looking right now. Now I'm going to go into my Amrezy palette and take the color Deep Plum. Oops, that brush just fell out of the palette. And my lid just broke like all the way. <laughs> This color right here, this deep plum, and it's like a deep brownish purple color. And I'm going to take this same brush and just take just a tiny bit of this and start to deepen up the outermost part of my eye. The outer V. And it looks really pretty because it is a darker purple color. It has a lot of purple in it.
can drag it into the crease just a little bit. like so and I'm kind of winging it out just a tiny bit and I'm gonna go back in with the orange to blend this out over top so we can see more of the orange because I'm kind of covering it up by adding this purple And that's how your eyes should look right now. So I'm going back into that orange blush. I'm going to wipe this um, brush off on a tissue to get some of the purple deep plum off. And I'm going back into that orange blush. And I'm going to blend out the purple and the crease using that. So I'm going right over the Morocco transition color using this orange blush really focusing on the outer edge adding a nice orange halo over the purple Blending that out. And don't worry if your colors get too high because I'm going to um, sharpen that up using a little bit of foundation so I get the shape that I want. Because right now it's looking kind of messy. That's how all your colors should be blending together. Like so. I'm trying to debate what color do I want for the inner tear duct. Hmm. Ooh, someone's calling me. Hello? This is she. Yes, I can. Yes, ma'am. Look forward to it. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. So I just have I just got a job interview at Sally's Beauty Supply. Turn up, yes. So I might have two jobs. So that means I need to have my makeup extra on fleek because it's Sally's Beauty Supply and um. Yeah, I need to, you know, look on fleek. <laughs> now I'm starting to sweat. Because I was, like, looking forward to that call. I'm, like, really excited. I hope I get this job. I'm so glad I don't work today because that means I can have two interviews. And I was like, what's that noise? It's the air coming on. So, sorry, I got really excited, obviously. <laughs> I'm really excited. <laughs> so, I'm going back <laughs> to my Beauty Treats palette. And I'm going to use that orange that I used on the lid that looks gold on camera. I'm also going to use that in the inner tear duct. And I'm going to use... What am I going to use? 
I'm going to use, she loves purple too, Miss Cindy, so I got some purple in my eye look, she gonna like it. But I'm gonna use this um, Coastal Sense brush, it's just um, a tapered round brush, it's for blending, but I'm gonna use that to apply this orange into my inner tear duct. Because I really like this color, and I really have been feeling orange, like I said earlier. And this does have a little bit of fallout because I'm placing it in such a small area with such a fluffy brush. But this will really help open up my eyes. I'm really excited for this interview now. That means I have to pick out clothes. As you guys know, I just came home and I still haven't unpacked everything. I'm glad she said 3.30 p.m. because <laughs> it's 11.30 now, so I have time to find some clothes to wear to this. Alrighty, so that looks really nice. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, what am I going to do? I'm going to take that orange blush that I used um, in the crease and like as a halo above the purple and I'm going to apply that to the center of my eyes and then, then I'm going to apply the deep plum to the outer corner of my eyes. And to do that, I'm going to use <clears throat> this other Coastal Sense brush and it's just a small flat brush and it's kind of fluffy but not too fluffy. And so I'm taking that orange blush color and I'm going to apply that to the center of my bottom lash line. Actually I'm going to apply it all the way across and then add the deep plum over top so it has more of like a a halo effect. I'm so excited for this interview. Y'all don't even know. I was praying I would get two jobs this summer and the Lord is blessing me with the opportunity to possibly have two jobs and I'm beyond excited. I just need to find something to wear. That is going to match this colorful eye look. I'm taking this on the bottom lash line. I'm kind of blending it out a little bit so that when I apply the deep plum, it will peek out from underneath. And right now I'm going to use that powder brush to brush out any fallout. Have a little bit of orangeness on my face, but you know, that's okay. I'm really loving all these colors, y'all all these colors okay so now I'm using that same brush and I'm gonna wipe it off on my paper towels not my paper towels my Kleenexes that I have sitting next to me and I'm gonna take that deep plum color from this Anastasia Amrezy palette and apply that to the outermost portion and kind of like the waterline of my eye I'm getting really close to my eye because I want the orange to still show underneath. Hope y'all can see. And make sure you connect it up. In the corners. I'm really looking forward to this. Won't he do it?
I don't have my teaching fellows here to say yes he will. <laughs> That's kind of like an inside joke that they have. It's funny though. I like it. Alrighty. So that's how that should be looking. I kind of want a little more orange to show through though. So I'm just going to take the same brush, not even going to wipe it off. And add just a little more orange, kind of in between the uh, inner tear duct and the lower, outer lower lash line, just to add a little bit of orange in the center. You can see that. I think that's pretty much it for shadows. So now I'm going to go in and clean up the bottom. And I'm going to use a real mirror for this part. And what I'm going to do is take whatever foundation is left over and literally just wipe just like that so I can sharpen it up. just to sharpen it up and I'm also going to do that right underneath my brow to get the shape that I want And that will really help to clean it up. And I'm just blending that out. Put that back in. Oops, knocked over the bottle. Good thing it's basically empty. So now I'm just kind of blending that out. Now, as you can see, I've lost a little bit of that orange, and I really want that orange to be like right here. So I'm very carefully placing some more orange just right there. Kind of blending that out a little bit. And now I'm going to highlight the brow bone. I've just spent a really long time on my eyes, which I rarely ever do, so I don't feel bad about it. To highlight my brow bone, I'm going to... I'm going to use my Black Radiance. Artisan Color Baked Blush in Ginger Snap, which is what I use to highlight my face normally. And I'm just going to use this to highlight the brow bone. And it looks really, 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 really pretty. I'm done with the eyes. I have to figure out what blush I'm going to do. Probably. Orange blush. We'll do orange blush because that's kind of one of the main colors of the look. So I'm going to take a fluffy brush like this and just lightly dust this right under the brow bone. For some added glue. I'm also gonna take a little bit of this right above my brow. For some added sheen and glow. Just a little bit. I don't want to be too, too, too glowy. I'm already starting to get a little bit of oil. So let me go ahead and take care of that. 
since I'm already highlighting, let's go ahead and finish that up. I'm also going to do right here in between on the bridge of my nose, in between the eyes on the bridge of my nose, and the very tip of my nose. And lastly, I'll do the top of my cheeks after I apply some of this orange blush. And I'm going to use this goat hair brush from Coastal Scents. The name is rubbing off. And I'm going to use that same orange blush that I used on my eyes. This one right there. Hope my hair dries. I might need to go outside or get the blow dry. And I'm not going to do any sort of like contouring or anything like that today. Or true highlighting not even with powder I just want my face I just like the way my face looks the skin alrighty so I'm placing that right on the apple and then blending it back towards the hairline a nice blush of orange blush and it's a matte blush too which I like that's matte I should have had one eye completed so this video would be so long, but... So the lady's name is Miss Cindy. Alright. I'm looking forward to seeing her. People have been loving to call me in my videos lately, too. <sighs> Taking a tissue. Go under the nose so it's running, like go over the nose, press out any extra oil in my face right now. And I like the intensity of blush like right here, it's like right on my cheekbone. So I'm just going to add a little more just right there on the cheekbones. That's it for a blush. And I don't think I'm going to do eyeliner on the eyes because they may get too intense and I don't want to look too, too, too dark for this interview. So I think I'm just going to do mascara, which I have basically stopped doing on camera because you don't need to see me apply mascara. Um, I just lost my train of thought what I was going to do next. Oh, I was going to continue highlighting. So... I'm going to take, I need a brush that I can kind of blend with. I'm going to take this kind of dual fiber brush from Coastal Scents brush, can't speak. And I'm going to take the highlighter Ginger Snap from Black Radiance that I used on my brow bone. And I'm going to just take this dual fiber brush and kind of apply this right on the cheekbone for some added glue I keep hearing things I'm kind of taking it down to the apple as well, no cheek. But basically just doing this whole area. I'm just going to glow it up today. Glow it up. All right. You can see it has a nice sheen to it. And last but not least for the lips, I want to keep my lips fairly nude. 
So I think I'm just going to go on with this e.l.f. lip gloss in the color Inspire. And it's just a nice light nude pink. And it smells good. To liner or not to liner? That is the question. I kind of... I kind of want liner, but I just don't want it to be too much. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to scare her, Miss Cindy, in the interview. So I'm just going to stay really, really close to the lash line. As close as possible. And I'm going to do like a little tiny, teeny, tiny wing. Okay, yeah, that's not too bad. Hopefully the other guy, the other guy, the other eye goes as smooth. So far, so good. Making another baby wing. Like so, yay. And then lastly would be mascara, but you guys know I'll do that off camera. So basically this is the finished look. I hope you guys really like this orange and purple inspired makeup look. Kind of like a sunset with nice glow and really just fresh, simple skin and new lips. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it, even though it's super long, as all my videos are. But, you know, it's whatevs. And um, please, please pray for me as I go into this interview and pray that I get another job, a second job. And pray that my hair dries. I'm actually probably just going to go try and get some of that out with a, a Kleenex. But anyways, again, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. If you want to see it with the mascara and how mascara transforms to look even further, you can follow me on my social media. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, YouTube.